Welcome to all of our human voyeurs watching and also to our wonderful audience. Now let me introduce the marvelous Mary. Welcome you unfortunate humans and good evening our delightful audience. Thank you both for visiting our darkness. So then Steve, how are you? I have regained my feckle and it is once more bounteous. I am also of the well-conditioned wobbly collies and so similarly have the bounty in abundance. I am further informed that our riders are to be found in exquisite health if not in the pub. A lovely situation all told then. However, it would appear that the world is less fortunate, because the internet chatter is all about bank gangsters, pedophile entertainers, institutionalized abuse, alien reptile agendas, the Illuminati, the New World Order, zombies, vampires, werewolves. All have a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles aspect about them, even before we get to the satanic infiltration of the Catholic Church. They all make me think that comedy must be alive and kicking. To which I must also add that, the Eastern Industrial Revolution and the Arabian Political Awakening reinforces that concept. For indeed, there must be an explosion of comedians carrying that stream of events forward. Who else would have thought, it made sense for all materials to be ferried halfway around the world and then made into objects? only to be ferried back again and then to complain about the food miles encountered on the supermarket shelves. As if there was no equality in both products. If it costs one product to travel it must also cost another two. The cost does not evaporate. There must be some very woolly mathematics being done, that can shut one factory down and rebuild it thousands of miles away to make the same things and have them transported back again. The cost of continuing cannot be more than the cost of relocating, unless someone else is paying for the relocation. Effectively the relocation a country does buys the jobs for its own people which increases the country's tax revenue, enabling them to fund the costs they incur in encouraging relocation. The point is that free money has been made available at some point. Thus a relocating company does not have to pay and with the reduction in labor costs, it also increases its own profit margin. Business is the bottom line or the crack if you will. The income over expense bum rush to the bottom. So if a business is doing something you can be sure money is being made somewhere. If a loss is being made it is often due to access into new markets, where the business has to gain awareness and knowledge of the marketplace. It will most likely be using its profits from elsewhere to fund the attempt. Otherwise the loss is being made because it is run by humans, the management is incompetent, because it is not that the workers are making the decisions. The decisions can of course be complex, since they will involve lives and people's well-being. In the end either the company survives and people have jobs or it doesn't and people have to find other employment. And then general economic conditions come into play, are there jobs out there? The world does appear to be in a massive experiment to find out which thoughts can be turned into reality, even to the point of the infamous Darwin Awards. You may have the idea and even want to try it out, but similar to the business plan, you have to evaluate the potential for a successful outcome. Yet it should be noted that, not all rational or logically consistent ideas make successful enterprises. Upon which I think of rubber chickens. She thanks you for attending. And so does he.